What do you do when your whole life just suddenly turns upside down and you lose control over what's going on in your world as it impacts you? Well, I learned that through, well, let's just say, I've been learning how to ask for help, and it's important to ask for help, and it's something I was not raised to do. So, as I found my health deteriorating, it didn't occur to me to say, I'm not feeling well, I need to get some help, I don't like doctors, I've had extremely bad incidents of being hurt by doctors, so I have a reason for that. And I know there are some excellent doctors in the world, and thankfully I have found some of them because I spent the last, golly gosh, it's been a really long time, I think maybe it's been at least six weeks, not feeling well, not being able to take care of me. And I'm somebody who likes to take care of me. If you tell me I can't do something and that includes taking care of me, I'm going to do it. Because I know I can because I know I'm never alone. Just as you're never alone. Because your higher self, your spirit, your guides, your angels, the universe, everything is here supporting you. And you just need to recognize that fact and allow for that fact so you don't think thoughts that contradict where you want to be in life, how you want to live your life. And fear and a desire to control is always coming from up here in your head. And when it comes from up here in your head, you can't control anything. The world doesn't work that way. Your life won't work that way. And it reflects you coming from a place of fear. When you come from your heart, I've been saying this for a long time, and when I lost sight of it and tried to come from up in my head, that's when everything fell apart in my world. So what's been happening for me all these weeks is I, well, I'm down to a, and I can actually take this off so when I shower, I can take it off. I can move my fingers now. Couldn't do that in the cast I had before. And in fact, when you stop using things, they get really stiff. So it has taken me probably a week and a half to get enough strength back in my legs to be able to walk. So I was out walking in my yard and walked the hill that everybody was telling me I couldn't walk yet. And I knew I could, and I did. So it was a great joy because how are you going to connect to Mother Earth energy unless you're walking outside on the Earth, preferably not with rubber sole shoes or plastic shoes because then the energy can't get up there. It makes a difference. When you go out there barefoot or in a natural shoe, and there are definitely natural shoes available, you can feel the energy coming up from the earth. And what I find to be really cool is feeling the energy from me going down deeply penetrating deeply into the earth in fact you know i love to teach live classes because they're always experiential so i'll have somebody come up and i'll tell them i'm just gonna push you uh see if i can knock you off balance i'm not even gonna push hard and i give them a slight push and they always go off balance now I tell them, see yourself sprouting roots from the bottom of your feet. See, feel them going deeper and deeper and deeper into the ground. And now when I push them, I can push really hard 
and they don't budge. They're holding steadfast because what you imagine up in your mind, you create instantly in your world. So where do you see yourself? How do you see yourself functioning? Well, I've gotten through all people making decisions and choices that I didn't really like, really, really, really didn't like. And because I was feeling so cruddy and because I couldn't do things, just I couldn't even move this arm in the cast because the pain ran all through my hand, down my arm. But it doesn't anymore because I don't need it to because I'm working my fingers, I'm exercising them. They're not stiff anymore. My legs aren't stiff anymore. They're supporting me. I can go up and down the hill. I can go up and down steps. And there are things that people were telling me I wasn't ready to do. Ready to do is function of what I choose to be able to do. That's in my control, as what you can do is in your control. Regardless of different things and functioning in your body, you can choose to do things that other people are saying you can't. I'm going to say that again. You can do things that other people are saying you can't when you believe you can. And that's why I've been healing really, really fast. So I'm very grateful for the most extraordinary friends and family who came and packed up my house. I don't know where anything is, but eventually I'll go through all the boxes, most of which are labeled. The ones I packed aren't. But eventually I'll get through everything, hopefully find everything, gave away, easily gave away $1,000 of furniture and items, but I gave them, I donated them, so like to Habitat Humanity and a community place nearby where people will be able to get them because they need them so they can have nice things that they wouldn't have had otherwise. Why not? Who cares? Things are just things. And as my son told me at least 30 years ago, Mom, I don't need to keep things because they're in my heart. And that's what I've been doing when I was making my mind shift because my daughter said, Mom, you don't need to keep all these things. And she reminded me of what Bob Proctor taught me, mm, I guess it's almost 30 years ago. You have to get rid of your old stuff because there's no space for the universe to bring in new stuff. And my daughter was reminding me of that. And it took a while to click in here. Mostly it took a while to click in my heart. And then it became easier and easier to put stuff in the giveaway and even the throwaway pile. So I know my daughter alone took 320 pounds of my stuff to the dump. That's a lot of stuff that I was keeping that I didn't need to keep because all the special memories, they're not the things, they're in my heart. So if you notice, and what <laughs> I notice that my friends who have the bigger and the bigger houses with more and more rooms for storage, every inch of that storage space is packed. So if that's you, I highly recommend, I highly urge you to start going through your things little by little and seeing what really matters that you have to keep physically and what 
can you just feed into your heart and your spirit so it can live in there and what are you ready to let go so new vistas can open in your life and new things not to clutter but new special things can come into the space that you're creating for them and the big thing to remember is nothing outside of you no one outside of you can bring you happiness or health or well-being so if you find yourself chasing oh i gotta have the latest car or game or book or vacation that's temporary and when it's over it's over and it's done and then you wind up with tons of stuff you want to throw out happiness joy and health they all work together and they all happen within remember to live from your heart not your mind because it's your heart that connects with the universal energy you can call it god source whatever word you use there's one energy and we're all part of that one energy i thank you thank you thank you for joining me here today it's been a bit of an absence for me and i feel like this is a celebration coming back to be with you for let's get metaphysical connecting heart and mind remember to enjoy that's capital i n capital j o y every moment because absolutely nothing happens outside of you while your experiences are happening within you in your body in your brain in your thought patterns you may notice i skipped mind so your mind doesn't exist except when you're thinking a thought in it and when you're not thinking thoughts no mind i'll see you here next time